today's video I thought I would rank the next step couple so let's just get straight on into it so my columns are legends I like them don't know much about them I don't like them cringe and buy flashy cheated essentially so Michelle and Eldon Michelle and Eldon I liked them in season two like when they were a thing I liked them if they got together now, I'm not sure they'd be a good fit, because I'm like, they're kind of very different. But I did like them. I'm going to say you probably don't know much about them, because they weren't there that long. Emily and Michelle. I honestly don't know about this one. I'm going to say I like them in terms of their friendship, like I did like them. Actual relationship, not sure on this one. No, and Rochelle, I feel like we, again, don't know much about them. Like, it wasn't very expanded. Like, it would have been nice Noah going to see Rochelle in the hospital. Rochelle and Noah having more conversations. It being more of a thing that Michelle made into age group. Rather than just sort of Noah being this person that's like, Rochelle don't hang out with anyone. So it would have been nice if we got to see more. Riley and Charlie cringe. Because it was just a bit like... It's almost like it was sort of... Riley's not really ready to move on. But Riley needs to date somebody. And it was a bit cringy and awkward. Piper and Finn. Pin. Legendary. I like them. Like one of my favourite ships. Gonna say... We have Emily and Alden next. I liked them in season one. Like, I liked them. Like, I thought they were good. Like, I didn't hate them. Like, now I'm like, they're not really meant for each other. But I did like them, so... I'm going to probably say I like them. Because I did like them. Rochelle and Ozzy, like... I liked it in season 8, them together in season 8, but I have found it a bit cringe. I'm going to probably say kind of cringy and also a bit forced. Like, it's like they have to be together, like, it's sort of been waiting to happen for a while, so they, like, got together. But I feel like season 5 and 6, oh my goodness, they're a bit cringy. James and Riley by... Riley cheated on James, and and James obviously cheated on Riley. Like, obviously, Riley just didn't have any remorse for what she did. James did, and James did this whole list to get her back. It would have been nice if Riley could have done, like, a whole list of things. Finn and Amy, I didn't like them, it was cringe it was just very awkward and kind of forced like they need to get along rather than they actually are like they didn't really stay friends long enough like it was kind of like we don't get on now we're in this relationship amy and ty bye ty literally kissed a girl that he knew henry likes and it just it was not good and it's like Ty just didn't really respect Amy and Ty was a bit annoying and Ty just first when watching it I did probably let past the fact he literally was like wanting to spend time with Amy when I'm like just respect the fact that she wants to dance like if you don't really care about the contemporary dance as much then just be respectful. No, and Amanda. Oh, I don't know. Cringe. It was just awkward. Like, I kind of do get where Piper was saying, like, how like she pictured Amanda being suited to someone more like Alfie, and I feel like that's probably more of a thing. Like, they're just at different stages. Like, Amanda was more mature than Noah. And Amanda probably had more experience with love than Noah had, so 
It was just a bit cringy and awkward. Beth and James. No, just bye. Like, just bye. I didn't like them. Hunter and Emily, I really like them. Like, I'm gonna put them in legendary. Like, I wish they got back together. The Troy and Amy, I did not like. I liked it at first, but then it just got really boring. Like, I would, like, literally any Latroy and Amy things in season four, I don't watch. Like, I just skip through. To the other stuff, like, I just did not like them. Jackie and Noah, didn't like him in season five, but I do like him now. So I'm going to put I liked him because I can't really say legendary if I've not liked him all the way through. Winnie and Ozzy. I don't know much about them, like, other than just Winnie had a crush on Ozzy, like, I don't know anything. West and Emily don't know much about them, like, it was just a friendship that never got expanded on. Summer and Henry. I kind of feel like they went into it too quickly, like, I didn't really like it. Like, they were fine in season six, but I didn't like them at all in season seven. Like, they were just bound to break up. So, Lan and Latroy, I like them, like, but it wasn't that expanded on. Rochelle and Noah. Or actually, that's Abby and Noah. I didn't know much about them, like. That was just kind of a thing where I'm like, it wasn't really expanded on. Past season three and Lily and Kingston, I hated them in season seven. I feel like season eight, I like them a bit more, but I feel like I honestly just don't really. It's more just I didn't like them and they're moving on, so I'm like, I don't really know much about them. Elton and Talia, I liked them. I wish it could have continued longer. Uh, Riley and Alfie, bit bye. Amy and Henry, I liked them. Kind of wish they'd got together sooner. Because we didn't get it for very long. So I feel like it's, uh, don't really know much about them. Because they just kind of didn't last. So if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.